Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. We resume our discussion about pulmonology or pulmonary medicine. In previous videos, we have talked about pulmonary function tests, and in just the last video, we talked about ventilation. Today, we'll talk about perfusion. In the next video, we'll talk about ventilation perfusion mismatch. Okay, what is ventilation? Ventilation is to get air into the alveoli. When there is oxygen in the alveoli, we call it P big A O2. Perfusion is to get blood into this pulmonary artery. When oxygen diffuses, this is called diffusion, into the artery, we call the oxygen now P small a O2. With that being said, now let's get started. Ventilation, getting air into the alveoli. Pulmonary perfusion, getting blood to the lungs. Okay, let's talk about oxygen. In the air, first it's called FiO2, which is the percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere. It's around 21%. As you know from your science classes back in the day, if the atmospheric air is 100%, around 78% is nitrogen, 21% is oxygen, and 0.04% is CO2. Do you remember those days? Yes. So the 21% is called FiO2, fraction of inspired oxygen. Then there is another concept called PiO2. This is the partial pressure of inspired oxygen and it's usually 150 millimeter mercury. Now let's talk about the alveoli. In the alveolus, P big AO2, it stands for alveolus, oxygen pressure is about 105 millimeter mercury. Then it jumps from the alveoli onto the hemoglobin, and then on onto the blood first, and then onto the hemoglobin. When it's in the blood, we call it P small AO2, and this is gonna be 100 millimeter mercury. Hypoxemia is when the P small AO2 decreases. This is hypoxemia, one of the causes of hypoxia. Hypoxia and hypoxemia are not the same thing. If this is hypoxia, one of the causes of hypoxia is the hypoxemia. Now, there is a difference between oxygen in the alveoli and oxygen on the arterial blood, between the P big AO2 and between the big small AO2. And this is called the A, A gradient. And it's normally between 5 and 15. In this example, it's 5. I have great news for you. Now I have premium videos on my Patreon page. Go to patreon.com slash medicosis. These are new videos that have not been uploaded before on my YouTube channel. Okay, we have talked about oxygen. Let's talk about carbon dioxide. As you know, it's 0.04% of the atmospheric air. That's called FiCO2. Okay, it's, it's almost zero. Okay, we're not physicists, it's just, just keep it simple. Now, PiCO2 is gonna be almost zero because to get PiCO2, we get the FiCO2 and multiply it by something else to get the PiCO2. So if this is zero, this is gonna be zero. In other words, CO2 in the atmosphere is almost non-existent, relatively speaking. In the alveoli, it's called P big A CO2 and it's around 40. In the arterial blood, it's called P small a CO2, and it's around 40. There is no gradient CO2. Um, maybe there is, but clinically, we couldn't care less. We only care about the AA gradient for the oxygen. This was normal perfusion, getting blood into the pulmonary artery. So perfusion defect, it could be pulmonary embolism. Comes the embolus here, and it comes here. Let me ask you a question. What is the most common site of DVT, deep venous thrombosis? And the answer is deep veins of the legs. Now, here is another question. What is the most common site of embolization of the deep vein thrombosis? Not the most common site of the thrombus. I'm asking about the site at which the thrombus dislodges and becomes an embolus and floats in the blood until it goes to your lungs. And the most common location of embolization is femoral vein. Do you know why? Because the deep veins of the legs are very teeny and narrow. And here is a thrombus, deep vein thrombosis. And then as you go upward, they start to increase in size and then the femoral vein is bigger. This clot moves and moves and moves and moves. It's still called the thrombus until it dislodges from its place and start ascending to the lung. This is the site of embolization. This is the site of thrombosis. Most common site of thrombosis, deep veins of the leg. 
most common site of embolization, femoral vein. This is really important for your exam. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notifications. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. To get my premium videos and my cases and my post notes and my video notes and my art notes and my audio notes, please go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.